a road to the final for the Indiana Wesleyan. You hit the reset button. 0-0, zero, zero, brand new set. And Indiana Wesleyan staring at that black. 49 wow. championship points coming up for Indiana Wesleyan. It's going to come to her. And here comes the set. I did things very, very opposite of what I would do at the start of the season. It was absolutely different. We kind of had a different mindset and we started off with going to the DR. And I think that starting off um, not being on the volleyball court was a really valuable way to make it so that the culture as a team was focused on God first. I was comfortable doing it the other way. And so to let go of this control um, was just God's desire to start working in my heart and to help me to see that if you let me walk with you in this, you're gonna go beyond what you ever can imagine. Regular season was exciting because we were on a winning streak and every game was super important. We were chasing the undefeated in the conference. Um, we were chasing beat the, the record of most wins. Every season you always say, oh, let's win a national championship, you know? And, but then as we were continuing to be undefeated and we were climbing in the polls, we were like, oh, if we just got in the final four, oh, that'd be so cool. And then, oh, if we just get the championship, wow, what would that be like, you know? And as we were going, it was happening. For the national championship game, obviously there was a lot of nerves, but we were able to stick together, keep loving on each other, keep encouraging each other. A road to the final four, an opening round win over Talladega. They got a scare from IU Kokomo. A couple of four set wins over Jamestown, the defending champion in Eastern Oregon is the uh, Howl, the Wildcat. Top seed Northwestern leading number two seed Indiana Wesleyan, two sets to one. When we were down two to one, um, you, in, as a coach, you can't think that you're not going to be able to solve the problem. Our coaches just kept encouraging us and so did our teammates. We knew that we had it in us to keep pushing. We just knew that we had to leave everything out on the court because we didn't want it to be our last set. Tied at eight, championship on the line. One of these teams will win their first ever national title. Yeah, the game-changing moment we were tied at eight, and we switched sides, and now we are with the crowd. So every set that we won in the game against Northwestern, we had the student section at our back, and there were probably about a thousand students there cheering for Northwestern. Indiana Wesleyan, you hit the reset button. Yep. Zero, zero, brand new set. And Indiana Wesleyan staring we at that We just used it as fuel for ourselves. Um, we knew that we had a lot against us, but if we stuck together, we could we could win the game. So, as we were going, we went up one. Serving. And good judgment. And then we got a, another point. Over by Dexter. Indiana Wesleyan. Shoulder smuck. And she puts it away. When that second point happened, the third point, um, Martina went out and she served a ball and it was an ace in the backcourt and that was the third point. Lester needs a side out and that serve is in. That's tough. I looked at Marta Zambetti and Abby Porter. I just looked at them and I said, guys, we are so close. We can do this. And they both looked at me and nodded and I just could feel that we could do it at that moment. That is a match high. Northwestern, she come out on shoulders, Mom. It's going to come to her. Here comes the set, shoulder spot, championship. Got it! When we scored the final point um, and everyone was rushing the court, it was just an unreal experience. We were just hugging each other, it was just pure joy. It was just a moment of realization that this is what we've been working towards and all of our hard work and long practices has paid off. That was a moment, but the journey was the memory.
As the bus turned the corner arriving back on campus, I think it was just a huge impact on how much our community cares for us at IWU. I think we all realized just what this meant for the school and how this national championship was just so much bigger than our team. It's just a great way to glorify God in everything we do and make sure that he is at the center of who we are. Winning this championship for me is a confidence that God is faithful. I don't mean that to mean that I can win a national championship every year now if I do these things. It's just that I have a confidence that letting go of my control is the best route to go. When we break a huddle, we always say for him, and that's just a way to end our practice remembering that we are playing for him. And no matter if it was a good day or a bad day, we're ultimately doing it to glorify God. And it's not um, about us, it's more about him and how we can show his love through playing. We're him, we're